BASF is building a new plant for the production of acetylene at the Ludwigshafen site in Germany. Acetylene has a long-standing tradition at BASF, and here's how it came about. The use of acetylene, which consists of two hydrogen and two carbon atoms, is closely linked with BASF chemist Walter Reppe. But who was Walter Reppe? Walter Reppe was born in the eastern German town of Göttingen in 1892. After completing his doctorate at the University of Munich, the chemist joined BASF in 1921. And this is where he was to go down in history. Today, he is considered the founder of modern acetylene chemistry. As early as the 1920s, the highly reactive acetylene enjoyed a strong reputation as an interesting chemical raw material. But working with the volatile substance was highly dangerous. For safety reasons, chemists at the time were only working with acetylene at a low pressure of maximum 1.5 bar. Yet such low pressures made it impossible for Greppe to process acetylene the way he had planned. So, he set out to find new options to increase the gas pressure without taking any safety risks. Following extensive research, he figured out that acetylene could be processed safely at increased pressures of up to 25 bar finally clearing the way for implementing his ideas on acetylene. He conducted research on four basic chemical reactions of vinylation, ethylation, cyclization, and carbonylation, thus paving the way for the production of new and completely novel chemical compounds. With the so-called Reppe chemistry, the BASF researcher laid the foundation for the safe handling of acetylene. And there's more. The chemical genius paved the way for numerous products that are now an essential part of our daily lives. From elastane and spandex fibers used to make clothing more flexible and elastic, to wheels for inline skates and thermal insulation materials, all the way to pharmaceuticals, crop protection products, and fragrances, acetylene is an important starting material for all of these products. They all have their origin in the mind of chemistry pioneer Walter Reppe. BASF has been producing acetylene for all of these application areas on an industrial scale since 1963 in Ludwigshafen, Germany, and since 2000 in Geismar, Louisiana in the U.S. Now, Almost 90 years after Walter Reppe conducted his first experiments, BASF plans to build a new, world-scale and highly efficient acetylene plant in Ludwigshafen. Reppe would probably be very delighted about this, as this plant is essentially based on his groundbreaking findings in acetylene chemistry. BASF we create chemistry.